Here I am! I was hiding! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, welcome back to Blast Brawl 2, Bloody Boogaloo, Electric Boogaloo, Thingy Boogaloo. Today we're gonna be the ninja who can stick on walls, he can turn invisible, he has all kinds of nasty tricks up his sleeve, and uh, comes in relatively handy, as you shall soon see. Not going to the uh, Neon City, we did that in the last episode. Today we're checking out the Wasteland Outpost, which uh, has a lot of player character style classes on it, and also you'll see, uh, obviously, bombs dropping from the air. So there, uh, there was a knife-wielding guy. There's a big mace guy. Obviously the explosions do help quite a bit. And uh, there's a Vanguard style character. And I did not utilize my, uh, my invisibility properly. The ninja only has one jump which uh, makes him a little bit harder to use, kind of like the warrior. I do like the more mobile characters. Wow. I got got real good. And there's a guy throwing some bombs. Had to deal with him post haste. And some invisibility will help me dispatch the shotgun man. Oh yeah, that works. Okay. The ninja has a dash just like that. You can also uh, parry attacks. If somebody would attack me, there it is. <laughs> I didn't use it, but that's fine. Oh, I revealed my position. No! All right, trying to be very careful. Was able to dispatch one guy there. And uh, you can string together your dash and the slash attack, which I think is really, really cool. Get behind a guy and then slash really a lot harder than it seems to take out these vanguard fellows. There we go. Use the invisibility to do it. That'll work just fine. And I think I'm still alive somewhere. There I am. Here I am! I was hiding! Hashtag League of Legends. Hashtag Twitch. Hashtag best character. Besides Teemo. <laughs> but this ain't League of Legends. This is Blast Brawl. Fantastic early access title that came through Kickstarter, and uh, I couldn't be more delighted to see it come to full release, honestly. It's still not a full release, technically, early access, but um, yeah. It's a very cool game, very worth checking out if you do enjoy uh, twitchy sort of arena brawlers and things like that. Boom, twofer. Oh my god. I'm very scared of the people with the big weapons. There, that'll work. Nuke will help me take one of them out. Did I die? Yeah, I went invisible and got blasted by the explosion. Okay, all right. Not much of a cooldown on the dash attack, which is a, a good thing for the ninja. Oh, shit. There we go. How about one more? Damn, I'm having quite a difficult time with this guy. You just can't let him get in your head, that's what it is. Had to take out the, uh, the nuke thrower fella with my invisibility. Extremely helpful, dash right through that vanguard. Your shield is useless to my dash attack. And luckily he was taken out by the, uh, by the nuke explosion. Oh my god, even invisibility couldn't save me from that dooming death. There's a twofer. Was it? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Cut them down! Oh, and there's an enemy ninja who just got blown up by the explosion. Feel my pain, bro. Alright. There we go. And again, I'm dead. Dead by splodies. I don't like it. I don't like it. Gotta get that bomb, fella. Oh, and he blew himself up. Wonderful news for me. And these hammer bros. Okay, that's fine. We will deal with them one at a time. Like so. Now we are at round 11. I'm doing better on this level than I thought I would. I was uh, pretty scared by it before. Oh my god. Everybody dead. No problem. 
Hup. Ninja style! Hup. Oh my god. I was so sure that guy was gonna get me. Ah! Okay! There we go. Get my ninja going. Damn! You can't out ninja a nuclear missile. That's just not a thing that happens. Uh, up he goes, down he goes. And uh, yeah, that dash is really, really helpful for juking out the enemies. Just kind of get behind them, and then when they make their attack, it's safe for you to come in and uh, do your little slashies. Oh shit! I think that's lava on the uh, the side of the screen, but the enemies do not die in the lava. Only the splodies will kill them. Thank goodness that vanguard got taken care of. Oh my god. That was a lot of guys to deal with, obviously. Holy shit. Can't come out of stealth at the wrong time. That's part of being a ninja. Well, ended by a missile. Not a bad score, though. Made it to wave... 12 again, and uh, obviously one of my better characters up there with the brawler. So we'll check out one more dude in this episode. The pirate, he kind of scares me, but uh, it seems like that's what we're gonna do, because why not? He throws a bottle of rum. That's the thing that reverses your controls. He also has a parrot that can help him fly around. This was one of my favorite characters in the uh, demo version. But he seems to have been nerfed, uh, sort of significantly. I do like his dodge attack, though. He can change directions with it in the middle. And then there's the brandish as well. Not too bad, not too bad. We'll see how we do on the, uh, wasteland. Hopefully I, I won't get wrecked too hard. Obviously, uh, there is relatively short range on the sword. But you can use it for, uh, a little air if you should need it. Oh my god. There we go. And the fucking nukes. Every time with the nukes. Making it really hard to conserve lives on this level. That guy, I thought he had a shotgun, but it's got a lot more range than a shotgun. We got wrecked as the fucking pirate. Absolutely wrecked. I'm gonna try another level. We'll do the uh, test chamber. This does have a lot of flying enemies, so hopefully, oh my god. I wrecked myself with the rum bottle. Pirate likes rum! Why is the rum always gone? Well, because you throw it at people. These guys take two hits to kill, which is uh, different from just about every other enemy. Lots of enemies on this level take two hits to kill, I guess because they're robots. Mechanized murder machines. And obviously that guy uh, had his shit wrecked by the rum bottle, started walking into a wall. Which does happen. That's factually accurate. And that'll make an easy kill for me. So we just have to take our time. How's that? Blech. Nicely done. And now we're probably gonna see some flying enemies there. There's that bastard. Yeah! Super explosions from that guy. They just kinda whack him. Oh my god. Not only is this a, a hard level to get through, but I'm also not too proficient with the pirate. So, we'll see if I can just get that fucker. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, I still have a, another fellow there. Oh my god. And he was able to get me. And I hit the rum bottle, <laughs> which reversed my controls. <laughs> Not doing too hot with the pirate. Not at all. Um, we can try the darkness below, or we can go back to the courtyard. I'll go back to the courtyard since it's uh, what I'm most comfortable with. But obviously I'm not too comfortable playing the pirate. For some reason. I guess I just haven't given it as much time as the other characters. It was one of my, uh, my last unlocks. Him and the Viking. And yeah, that sword swing is just kind of hard to control. I do like that you can give it a little dash forward, but uh, if you're just standing there, it's extremely difficult to hit anybody with it. There's not much range to it, as you can see, especially when the enemies are leaping forward at you and all that shit. 
That's all right. We're gonna do it. Huh. Now you're drunk. Do you like being drunk? Oh my god. Gotta go. Yeah. The rum bottle does help a lot. I'm probably not utilizing it as often as I should. There we go. The parrot is obviously a, a really helpful thing for the pirate. You can kind of just get as much air as you please, basically. Obviously, he runs out after a, a certain amount of time. I was still flapping there to no avail. But, uh, yeah. It's plenty of air, should you need it. And, uh, the truth is, I need it quite often. Rum! Oh, fuck. And there you saw the massive range of the claw creature that I was talking about in the last episode. Just kind of standing out of range. Trying to be as careful as I can until, uh, I find my moment. Oh, these guys are so hard to do, even with the pirate. Ugh! Alright. Take care of them. And then bide my time. Ugh! I think there was three of them in there. That's pretty nice. Oh my god. And I flew right into that. <laughs> Good job, pirate. Are you sure you're not drunk? I think you can deflect those things with your, uh, with your sword. But obviously, extremely difficult to do. And, uh, the sword cooldown is, is not a help either. Oh my god. I think the secret to these things, wait until they expend all their, uh, projectiles. And then you can kind of just go ham on them. Oh my god, he got one back. Come on, little pirate. I believe in you. There we go. Really quite a difficult character to play. You saw I got inside the, uh, the Vikings attack range there. And he got me. And again, holy shit. That is it. I'm calling it done for the pirate. Obviously, uh, I need some more practice. I probably don't use the dodge skill as much as I should, which is uh, a troubling thing. Anyways, I hope that you'll join me for the next episode, friends. We've got the pirate, viking, or the viking, vanguard, and sniper to do in the last episode. I hope that you'll join me for it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a portable camera. It's uh, a camera that's portable, like all cameras are these days. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye Bye, goodbye, see you, my friends.